Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This pick a card reading is a general reading so it should fit any situation you find yourself in. As always we have our three piles here with group one on the left through to group three on the right. The timestamps will be in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using. If you'd like a private reading with me you can book that in the description box as well. And that being said I hope you've all had a very Merry Christmas and I'll leave you with your selection and I hope you enjoy your reading. Hey group one and welcome to your reading if you have chosen beautiful labradorite then this reading is for you um, labradorite is a beautiful stone bringing about um, mental clarity and transformation so that might be something like as I look at your reading that might be on your mind a bit a transformation a change that's happening for you but and there might be a bit of doubt and fear around it. But anyway, let's have a look at your reading this week. So we're looking at some of the energies I can see here is Cancer, Aquarius, um, Cancer again. Libra is here, Virgo, Taurus is here. Yeah, those are the main energies that could be showing up in your week. But it doesn't matter too much. Let's look into the past. First of all, we have the Moon, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords for your first cards in the past energy. So there's a, some sort of new opportunity here, but you may be running out of fear. There may be something about this new opportunity that's around you, the new beginning, um, that has got you feeling a little bit stressed out, um, maybe even doubtful. We have the Moon here, which can show up uh, some of our subconscious fears and patterns. And with the Nine of Swords on the other side, we've got some pretty, um, I want to say murky water perhaps. So maybe you're just, yeah, feeling a little bit stressed about a, a new beginning. How is it going to, how is it going to pay off or how is it, how are you going to make it work? That sort of thing. So Ace of Pentacles there in the past energy and Nine of Swords feeling a little stressed. So the current energy moving into the week ahead, however, is the star. So you do see there is some sort of relief coming in for you. There's some sort of energy of feeling um, like you've got what it takes to navigate any changes that are happening. We've got the Two of Pentacles here and that's you sort of juggling different aspects of your, of your life at the moment, uh, maybe dealing with different people. Um, it is a pretty wild time of year to be releasing a reading. Everyone is doing, you know, likely different things than what they're normally doing from week to week. And um, so the Two of Pentacles can be quite appropriate with dealing with different people in the family or dealing with um, a change in your life, something that you're trying to navigate that's probably a little bit challenging. We've got the Chariot after the Two of Pentacles as well. So you've you're building your confidence this week. And then we have the Tower, Justice and the Seven of Pentacles in the rest of your week. So you are headed towards something that is going to be an abrupt change by the looks of this. But with the... Um, it, it just looks like it's time to move forward into this without fear, whatever this might be for you. And with the justice being here, it's, it shows that there's going to be a restoration of justice or something balancing out. This can have to do with um, repercussions for actions, whether they be repercussions towards you or another, It'd be different for everyone, but it does look like a week of change or moving forward into change. The tower doesn't have to be a scary thing. I mean, sometimes it can be an abrupt change we didn't expect coming, but with the chariot heading straight in towards this, it's like, I think you're well prepared or maybe not, maybe not well prepared, but you are in, look at this actually, how the power card sits above this. Like you're ready to summon your power in whatever this situation is you move forward into. It's really interesting that the, 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 how this all sits together on the table. I always like uh, how they do line up like that. So let's have a look straight for the power card. Mountain Thunder. This is your time. This is time to claim your power and step into your potential. This doesn't necessarily mean you will be without fear. You might feel uncertain, but do it anyway. Be courageous, let the world hear your voice, take a stand, stand up for yourself and others, share your passion, teach from the heart, write and your words will have great meaning. Hold your body as if you are an incredibly valiant, noble and brave. After all, you are. And I believe that actually was in one of the readings from last week. 
got the power card as well. Maybe you listen to that reading as well for further, and this is further encouragement to take whatever action you're called to take that may be an upheaval. It may be a big change. It may be not what somebody wants to hear. It, it's, it's clearly what you need to do because you're looking at your long-term investment where you want to put your energy and something needs to pay off long-term. And I think that's what you're thinking about is long-term success in your life or something you want to see come to fruition something you want to see successful in your world so <clears throat> in the challenge we have got the hermit the hero fight and the four of swords so you may be finding it a little challenging at the moment to connect with others or to make any committed commitments to step forward into commitment you might be taking a step back and re-evaluating your commitments or um, re-evaluating a few things in your life Hermit is asking you to take the time out to seek those answers from within. And I can think this comes with this card you have here as well. Trust your gut feeling. Let your heart lead you to who you are. And this card is exactly that. Trusting how you're feeling about things, even if you know, you've know you got a bit of conflict inside with your thoughts and your feelings. The Two of Swords is in your reading. So there is that you know, feeling of uncertainty and the head over the heart and not sure which one to listen to. You're being encouraged to just take a little bit of time out perhaps. You know, maybe you're maybe you're feeling for some of you may feel like you've been doing nothing but taking time out and you're trying to figure out how to insert yourself back into life or into commitments. That could be a message for some people here with the four of swords and the hermit, but um, I do feel like it is a, it, the challenging moment for you is to sit back and really look at what you're committing your life in, two in your life and what is working for you um, I think there's a little bit of stress and worry about some things here but but ultimately you have got the power and um, you're not to be afraid of this change or this moment or something you're walking into right now so further guidance we have what will help with the challenge sorry is judgment the ten of pentacles and the page of pentacles this is really super positive judgment is here because it's a calling whatever the situation is for you this change it is a calling and to see it as a calling will be what helps you with this challenge this change just whatever this is for you the light that shines down it makes it it you know does it lifts up the flowers I want to say it melts the snow but it hasn't done that um, it's lifting up the flowers, it's creating growth, it's creating things to come to fruition, to life. We've got the Ten of Pentacles behind that. So this really is looking at the um, the bigger picture of your life. The, this could be about larger financial gains. It could be about assets and buying a home or just like we see with the Hierophant, long-term commitments. It could be marriage, it could be family, it could be an opportunity to grow some, with somebody that is... Um, you know what what feels like a calling what feels right for you this could be a business deal or some sort of commitment in your in your work or with the page of pentacles here it is an opportunity to start something afresh and start anew you're encouraged to start new with something so if you've got a new business idea or something striking out on your own or just something here you're encouraged to follow uh follow through with i'm going to hold this one up porcupine spirit time for beginner mind we have the ace of pentacles we're looking at new beginnings that you're feeling called towards you're being encouraged to invest in something long term um, so you're looking at what those investments are further guidance here we have the knight of swords six of pentacles king of pentacles so I really like how the oracles are really matching everything. We've got the Six of Pentacles, but we also have the Maple Spirit with generosity. So you can see here that this is a time, if you are in a position to be giving back, to, to do so. For others of you, you may be receiving a lot of generosity from somebody who may be very stable. This could be a boss or somebody offering you a job or offering you um, an apartment at a discounted rent or something like just some sort of blessed opportunity might be here coming in for you very soon. Um, something yeah like something changing up quite quickly and we see a tower here we see a chariot here so you know there's definitely indication that something's coming in for you quickly and perhaps encouraged to see it as an opportunity if it is something that strikes a little bit of fear in you or a change that you're not ready for you feel that way you can see here that the, the, it actually is bringing a great deal of stability and then we have the in the outcome the ace of swords the two of swords and the wheel of fortune so here we go with the clarity i mean, i want to bring in the labrador at this point because it's all about um, enhancing mental clarity uh, and embracing transformation right and then we have clarity and transformation or change or some sort of 
a fortunate event or like Wheel of Fortune can be a lot of different things. It can be like the change of a season. Sometimes it can indicate karmic cycles and things. We've got the Two of Swords in the center here. So it's like you, you may be at odds with yourself or with the situation with the person or just like not sure how things are going to turn out or what to do. But you are encouraged to take steps in towards some, some sort of new direction here for yourself and create a change. And I'm getting like stop fighting with yourself about something perhaps. You might be fighting with yourself internally about a choice. So yeah, trust your gut feeling. Let your heart lead you to who you are. And I think this is also about being very invested and present with what it is you're doing because it's I'm talking about letting your heart to lead you to who you are. And that's about loving what it is that you do. Um, being very focused and uh, attentive and, and present. Uh, time for beginner mind, not being afraid to start new things, to be open to new ideas. In fact, we'll go to a little book for the porcupine. The oracle message. When porcupine spirit calls your name, you're being asked to adopt a beginner's mind and to approach situations with innocence and curiosity. The old uh, confining stories no longer have a hold on you. Life is full of surprises hiding in plain sight. Look at the world, looking at the world with a world afresh with new eyes can help you find what you have been seeking, whether it is a relationship, an opportunity or evidence that you have all you need right now to co-create what you desire. Who knew? Porcupine asks you to be playful and have a childlike curiosity. There's so much waiting for you that you have yet to discover. And it's, we're seeing that here as well. We're seeing, definitely seeing that. When I first started pulling the cards, I felt like maybe someone's trying to get out of something so that they can pursue something else or, yeah. Um, and we had the card generosity and in, like, as the card suggests, it is a wonderful time to be giving back or especially if I'm, I think I'm going to be releasing this on Christmas Day and record it a few days earlier. But um, so you may be somebody who's just extra generous this year and have a little bit more to give and enjoy doing so. We have the power card, which we did touch on already. We also have the warrior goddess affirmation. I am able to hold strong to my own intuition in the face of many confusing and varied voices around me. I know who I am and what I believe in and stand for. And then some tea leaf oracles. For the rest of your reading, we have the four leaf clover, great good fortune. We have dagger, worries, fear, tense situation. We have sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures and a fresh start and then flowers with happiness. So again, talking about how there is a little stress here, but you've actually got a good opportunity and something really blessed about these changes that are, you're encouraged towards. So that is what I have for you in this reading group one. Merry Christmas to you. I'm looking forward to next week's reading. It's going to be a look into 2024. So look out for that one and yeah, chat to you soon. Bye group one. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the beautiful seashell, then this one is for you. So the seashell was a gift from my son's friend the other day and it's such a lovely little gift. He's a sweet little guy. He loves animals and all creatures in nature. So. Maybe a little time in nature is needed, appreciating animals and just being connected and present. But also the seashell can be a symbol of um, passing from the physical world to the spirit world. Maybe you are honoring or remembering loved ones that have passed over at this time. Um, I feel like it could be a message of just going with the flow, messages of the ocean. Maybe messages of hiding in your shell, perhaps. You may be wanting to hide up inside your shell. And I am releasing this uh, probably Christmas Day or around. So sometimes that can be a time when we want to hide in our shell or it can be just so overwhelming and just want it to be over with. Some people feel that way. Um, whatever, whatever it might mean for you. We'll keep it open. So group two, I was going to say group one, maybe you're drawn to group one. We can see Virgo is here. I got Taurus as well as Capricorn. Scorpio is here. Sagittarius is here. Leo also. Okay. 
I guess we could say Aquarius as well. And Cancer. <laughs> right here. So group two, let's jump into your reading in the past energy. What we can see is the, the King of Wands the magician the ten of wands and the three of cups okay so king of wands could be you could be someone you're dealing with but we've got somebody here who is got making plans or is looking to the future this this is a visionary energy it's leadership energy it could be someone coming towards you with passion and and leadership or assertive energy of some kind um you know no, stating what they want saying the right things making something happen this could be you that's been in this energy as well we've got the magician here so you know you are manifesting something but it's hard work the ten of wands is here as well and then the three of cups three of cups can be a card of reunion and celebration being together with loved ones for those that are having a typical type of Christmas with family you can definitely see there's a lot of work that's been done to make this event happen this is past energy to try and pull off you know the, the the dinner or whatever it is that you guys are doing together uh, if if that resonates with you if you're doing something with people um, but the ten of wands shows that there is a great deal of burden or a lot of responsibility it just it's all on you or it's just it does seem to be maybe something very enjoyable deep down is actually not enjoyable and that's what you're struggling with maybe there's like you've got you know you it's a time to be really enjoying coming together with loved ones but you might be struggling with some personal stuff that you're not sharing or yeah you can see a few different potential opportunities of what this could be but either way it's just see like trying to move forward and make things happen and there's just a a lot to account for or consider so in the week ahead it does look like a little bit choppy turbulent or f um something like that let's just go into it we've got the five of wands the six of swords and then the nine of cups so five of wands can be arguments. We've just come off the three of cups. So something could have arised around Christmas or thereafter, before, whatever. This is in the future energy. So maybe, who knows? Five of, it doesn't have to always be an argument. It can be conflict of any kind. It can be a bit of an internal struggle. It can be feeling like there's just too much chaos. It can be feeling like there's too much clutter in the house. It just, it, you would, could be wanting to do a full clean out or, you could be wanting to tie off loose ends and get stuff ready for the new year. Like I, there's a lot of different things this could be, but potentially this could be just trying to work out some tension that you have with someone or a group of people. Six of Swords and the Nine of Cups is wanting to find um, peace or, or resolution or to let go of the tension and to, for things to come into a better space. But with the Five of Swords, it shows that you may distance yourself from a person or a situation in order to get that space this week you might be just wanting to spend a bit of time on your own we've got the hermit and the nine of wands as well so as you can see you've got nine of cups in the middle of your week so it's like good news is here good and and the six of swords shows that you're sort of moving out of tension but part of this is sort of i think getting a little alone time if you can or just reflecting a little bit on how to move forward to make your wishes come true what it is that you want um, what it is that another wants if you're looking at a relationship and trying to work things out with somebody you can see that for, with people here like just taking a bit of a breather nine of wands at the end of your week shows and the hermit does show you maybe wanting to just get a bit of away from the world and a bit of alone time to just r reset or get ready for the new year or um, just not deal with things so much because you've had the not ten of wands you've got the nine so this is a little bit exhausting Six of Cups being there, I will mention again, there is opportunity for you to not engage in stress and sort of just let go of whatever is burdening, uh, troubling you or giving you burdens. In the challenge, we have got Strength, the Queen of Swords and the Tower. So the challenge speaks for itself, I feel. The challenge may be making an assertive choice or sh asserting a boundary that causes a tower moment. Or maybe it is dealing with somebody else's tower moment and saying, what needs to be said um, the queen of swords maybe you're finding it hard to speak up for yourself or it could be um, just m dealing with whatever this change is or this ch tr struggle is the tower is here in the challenge and group one had the tower as well when i first started your reading i felt inclined to stay group one so if you're drawn by all means check it out they're a bit shorter today um, just because of the time schedule i guess and yeah, releasing around Christmas. I'm not sure how many people are tuning in around that time anyway. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to next week's reading. It's going to be a look into 2024. I should be releasing that on the 1st, depending on how New Year's Eve goes. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, but, yeah, for right now, it just looks like you're dealing, just trying to, with strength, you might be finding it a little hard to f find that strength or find that, um, I'm hearing decorum or um, what dealing maybe you're dealing with somebody who's being a little cold-hearted you could be you could be dealing with your own like just a need to assert your own boundaries and that can be uncomfortable for you at times maybe or just just the whole just the whole ordeal or something I'm just yeah I do see a lot of strength in this queen of swords though like she, regardless of what's what crumbling around her she's like she's got her own back you know and in what will help with the challenge, we have Temperance, the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So you may find that walking away from a situation is going to be the most beneficial for you in this situation just to get a breather. It doesn't mean forever always, depending on your situation. But Temperance is asking for exactly that, a little bit of temperance, a little bit of patience and moderation to take a step back, to find healing, to find a bit of peace for yourself, to not engage so much. Two of Pentacles... I feel like this is about adjusting to the changes that are happening around you or the choices you're making that bring changes. Um, yeah, take it, e take it easier. Don't juggle so much. Let go of what you don't need to be connecting to at the moment. It's probably a time for recharging. Further guidance, we have three major arcanas with Judgment, Devil and Death. They all go quite well together because Judgment is the Awakening card. It's about... A, some sort of knowing or calling to an awareness or a truth something you feel called towards towards and then we have the devil and the death so this is a major transformation ridding something of your life that is quite toxic um, something that's not healthy for you something not working and you're transforming that you're coming into a really big awareness that something needs to change or that you are gr outgrowing a situation and you're ready to spread your wings you're, you're maybe I'll, you want to get ready to spread your wings I want to say maybe maybe you are ready some of you some of you are like because there's just this uh, pelican here has got a lot of um, oil slick on them from whatever's in the ocean there an oil spill and um, and so maybe you just also need a bit of a cleansing before you can spread your wings as well and re regaining a bit of strength and feeling what it feels like to stretch and have room again I'm feeling as well just as I look at the devil uh, card with the cage just to come out of that cage you would obviously need to stretch and get back into yourself and feel yourself again and what does that mean to you to feel yourself um, outcome cards we have the world the four of swords and the hierophant so first I think the world could have taken the cake here and we probably didn't need to get any more because it just shows that you're completing a really big cycle as you come to the end of 2024 so I'm really looking forward to your look into 2024 reading next week um, but yeah the world card is a completion card we also have the four of swords and Hierophant as we saw before so you are potentially taking a breather from your commitments here and we saw that in actually group one as well taking a breather from the big choices and um, social expectations maybe just like you need to recuperate and contemplate a few things some choices and what you're what you're going to be doing what you're choosing what you're connecting to moving ahead maybe you're looking at your work commitments and things that you want to manifest for 2024 it really looks like you're preparing yourself to almost wanted to say going out with a bang here yeah. um I feel like there's some, for someone, I just, when I was calling before, I'm not sure where I got it, but there was something about revisiting an old issue. So maybe like rehashing an old argument you have with a partner or something that n does need resolution. And I just feel like something might come up around that for some people here. Um, and it's, it's more about finding strength within yourself or something. I'm not sure. We'll leave that. For, so into the Oracle cards, you've got a lot of beautiful colors and the word love and freedom quite a lot so we've got drunk with love let love lift you to freedom and then from another deck you had the horse spirit freedom is yours so both of these cards drunk with love I like that both of them are speaking of freedom so when life is mundane and waking up in the morning is void of excitement excitement it means that we are pulling away from our dreams 
This is when we need to improve our personal lives and make positive changes in our relationships. Being drunk with love removes the barriers that have held us apart from others, from the divine and from the world. Now is the time to focus on love and on giving from the heart, perhaps to rebuild an old love connection or initiate a fresh start. Rumi's message to you is to let go of your self-centered thoughts and begin to see everything through the eyes of love. When you perceive with loving gaze, you become surrounded by energy like fragrance in the air, which shelters you with the pure love such as, your, such as you have never known before. You will be escorted by a warm, blushing glow that calls you into a community of friends who welcome you into their hearts. And I laugh because you've got the card community. <laughs> and, you, and I just do feel like that's important for you too, to acknowledge that you actually do have a lot of love and support around you, even if you're not aware of it. So you have the card love. <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe we'll go horse spirit. That was next. We'll go to horse spirit. And for horse spirit, when horse appears you are in your reading, you are gifted with the spirit of movement and freedom. It is time for travel and adventure, whether that means a trip somewhere or taking a different type of journey, one of freedom of choice. Horse spirit reminds you that no matter the circumstance, you have the free will and choices that can take you far away to a better place a better situation a better state of being there for there is no one but you to rein in your will to make a choice to make a different decision sorry you are capable of making powerful choices that will affect you for a long time to come horses are social animals and known to be a friend to mankind willing to carry us forward whenever we need it horse spirit reminds you that help will be available to you whenever you need it and companions will be by your side Wherever you choose to go, whatever direction you choose to travel, life is an adventure and horse wants you to know that whatever choice you make, you have great spirit within, invisible yet holding you up and always walking by your side. If your inquiry is about a relationship, you can set your heart free to experience love in all forms. Spirit whispers to you that the gift of freedom is yours if you allow yourself to break out of your perfectionism and stubbornness. Make a move and enjoy the freedom of letting go of the need to control. I like that. I like that. And then we had the wild rose fairy with love. More love. It is a time to just be very loving, isn't it? Um, what do we got to say about this card? Love is all around you. Open your heart to receive. All of your life's experiences are a splendid part of spiritual evolution towards the realization that we are all love. In all matters of romance, there is healing right now. You are a sacred vessel of love to flow through you and others into the universe. Healing has occurred. Healing is occurring and healing will occur. I like the word flow came up because it should. We've got the card flow. <laughs> community and flow. These are the cards from Sacred Destiny Oracle. We'll go to community now. Yes. Support is all around you, even if you are not consciously aware of it. Allow yourself to be supported, give encouragement to others, and the more you allow yourself to be supported, the more your dreams can come true. If you believe that you have to do it all alone, you will. Your true family is not just blood relationships. Sometimes the strongest family ties are friends who know who you are. Sometimes they are your ancestors and soul family who reside in spirit. This card speaks of finding your community and your people. It is a card of remembering that your people are at your side, believing in you, loving you, and standing strong beside you. Call on your community and ask for their assistance. They are only a thought away. And flow, I'm sure we can, oh, there it is, we can imagine. It is just encouraging you to go with the flow of changes that are here. There are times to hold on tight to the shore and there are times to enter the flow. Notice where life is going and move in that direction. Watch for signals and follow them, don't resist. When you go with the flow, your life force expands and healing on all levels abounds. This is also the time to release old limiting patterns, forgive and let go of the need to be right about your beliefs. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents of your life, it might mean that you are being self-critical or judgmental. When you enter the flow with gratitude and love, you will find blessings surround you and you will enter into a state of grace and healing will abound. Again, abound. I feel like that was touching on what I was saying before about someone with the old argument rehashing something or there's something that needs, there's, it's more about your own personal growth from that situation and I feel like it was touched on there as well that there's something to be let go of there because it, it's, or resolved like it, yeah. 
it can't be brushed under the rug or something. That's not for everyone, only if that resonates with you and you already know exactly what that is. We have this soul affirmation beyond name and beyond form, beyond night and beyond day, beyond the mask of the personality, I am a spirit soul. Beautiful card that is. <laughs> Touching on the lessons, isn't it? So we also have tea leaf oracles, three of them with bird flying, news is on the way. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. And camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. So yeah, there's an opportunity here to clear something away by the looks of it. No harm, no foul when I look at the cobweb, right? So it'll, it'll be fine. Everything will work out just fine, whatever the challenge is. You've got nine of cups there in the week ahead as well an and the six of swords next to it. So it's an opportunity to find resolution and find wisdom and maybe even freedom and love in amongst all of this. So I have no idea what any of that was about. I hope it resonated with you. <laughs> I hope it gave you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance. Um, what do I want to say? Yeah, next week is the 2024 reading. I can't wait for that. I'll probably do a different spread. I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I hope you've all had a Merry Christmas. I'll be doing the announcement for the winner if I haven't already by the time this is released. Uh, private readings are open January soon. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be about it from me. That's it for you, Group 2. Look forward to reading for you all again next time. Bye. Hey, Group 3. Welcome to your reading. If you've chosen Malachite, then this one is for you. Malachite is a beautiful protection stone. Um, this actually reminds me of the New Zealand necklace. The um, I, f I forget what they're actually called. The, the are they jade stones? I'm not sure. They have these really nice necklaces. Um, but yeah, so Malachi is a stone of protection, but also warding off illnesses, respiratory problems, cleansing the liver, things like that. Tissue regeneration. So all things matter of the health. And you've actually got a lot of green in your reading. Lots of greens and golds. Really beautiful. Can't wait to hold them up and show you how beautiful and green your reading is. So. Maybe time in nature would be beneficial. Maybe eating leafy greens, green tea. Um, green is the heart chakra. It's also the color for the liver. So yeah, interesting. So group three, let's jump into your reading and see what we've got here. Major energies. I can see Leo very strongly. Aries, Virgo, from Pisces as well. So it could be your energy or just energy that's really activated and alive at this time. So let's jump into the past with the three of wands, the six of wands, the four of wands, lots of wands. So in the past, we're looking at a situation where you have had a bit of a victory. So the three of wands, you've waited for an opportunity, something you've lined up or something that you knew was coming potentially, or you've, you've aligned with this in some way. And then here it is, six of wands, four of wands. You've had some victory in the recent past. You have some acknowledgement for your work. Someone's maybe noticed you. Um, or it doesn't have to be with work. It can be in another area of life where you just feel like you've got a community behind you lifting you up to success and things are getting better. There's, it's, maybe it's been a little while coming for you with that three of wands there as your first card, but you've definitely got these really positive, I was going to say influential energy. So maybe you are an influencer or maybe you're feeling very um, influenced or influential in some way. Four of Wands can be about occasions, celebrations with our community. It can be Christmas and probably we're going to release this reading on Christmas Day um, in the Southern Hemisphere. But um, <laughs> depends on when you click in and watch it this the past energy could this could easily be we've got Halloween there but this could easily be a, a Christmas gathering that's you know been very nice for you or or other <laughs> um, but yeah either way there's something something is growing something is expanding for you and it's really good you might be finding your way into a new community or spending time with like mind souls recently now looking into the path ahead, we've got the Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Beautiful cards. Look at this. All this energy is coming in towards you. <coughs> you are magnetizing all sorts of resources, abundance and love. The information that you need, the support you need. Everything is here for you and you are growing. Um, I can really feel like I want to hold this card up at this point. Oh, 
Actually, this is so funny. I should back up a little bit because these B, we've got B spirit sweet results await after the three of wands and the six of wands above, sorry. So this is a waiting card and then there's sweet results. Literally you've got sweet results await with the B spirit there. So you've been busy B making this come into alignment happen. Then we've got the four of wands, which is about celebrations, can be about gatherings with our community. And you've got to celebrate life, make your life a celebration. How is that in for alignment? That's how they sat on the table. Beautiful alignment. And then with this beautiful fresh new energy with two aces and the queen of pentacles, above that is the frog spirit of renewal. So um, it'll probably continue on that way as well. But yeah, so far this is what we've got and this is the alignment with your cards. And I think it's really, really special to see that. So with the frog spirit, spirit renewal, it is a very very supportive energy to be to be in conjunction with these aces and the queen of pentacles with you um taking some sort of new step this could be new love this could be healing within a loving relationship so this could just be you growing in numerous ways now further into the week ahead we have the ten and nine of pentacles so financially it looks like a bit of a win or there's a lot of stability things are improving or things are very solid for you. You're working out future plans to how what to do with a certain amount of money. You might be looking at investments or looking at what you're going to be doing long term, maybe thinking about next year a fair bit. So for some of you, you might be striking out on your own in some way, doing something very independent and on your own with the Nine of Pentacles coming after the Ten. But whatever you do, you will do it well because you've got some solid backing. You've got a great community or a family behind you. or You've got the finances behind you. You've got what you need. Two of Swords is there just to, <laughs> just to be a little bit of spice on top of the reading to just show that, hey, we don't know it all. Um, I think it's just that energy of uh, uncertainty and, and, and maybe self-doubt even a little bit. I'm, I'm actually inclined to grab another card on that, and I will. We've got the Sun on the bottom of the deck, and as I move that over, we see the Six of Cups. So definitely positive times with family, wonderful gatherings, enjoying each other, enjoying good food enjoying Chrissy leftovers, catching up with cousins, goodness knows. So what did I have here? It's a bit too many. I'm, I'm acknowledge judgment there. Just one card for the two of, thank you. Uh, so we've got the seven of swords and the nine of swords coming out now. And if the nine of pentacles is after the 10 of pentacles, it makes me also consider that some of you have come out of something very solid and you're now standing on your own. And it may have been that you've been betrayed in the past. And so it's like looking at doing things differently this year than you have in years previous, things like that, doing things on your terms for the queen of pentacles, what works for you. <coughs> that is for those that have uh, some sort of relationship breakdown and just sort of working out how to make the best out of something, you know, how to make the most out of a situation. Get that nine of swords again. I see the king of swords here as well. So <coughs> you may have been dealing with someone who's a little bit um, harsh or cold. Um, with that king of swords being there, the two of swords, just needing to make some real de decisions on your own terms. I keep feeling that on your own terms energy here. Um, and like potentially a new, and I want to mention like there is a, a gentleman in this card here. So, you know, you've got a couple this and the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups. You may be coming together with somebody or enjoying a special um, growth in a relationship or it's just nice times, a date. In the challenge, we have the King of Pentacles, the Tower and the Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like this challenge is just about financial change or maybe business change or changes with regards to your monetary situation or your physical resources in some way. The tower is an abrupt energy at times, so and this person is quite angry, so there may be some anger over some choices around assets or finances within your life, your relationship, your business partners. This could be about numerous things, but it, it is a big what I what I feel for this like especially given we've seen that seven of swords it may have been you feel like you've had the rug pulled out from underneath you or something shady is or dishonest is going on here but um and it's out of it does feel like some of these things is out of your control just as i look at the just the um it's like financial decisions being made on your behalf or something like if that's even possible or just something that's out of your control i feel like you're behind something that's not happening on the forefront you're just maybe you're affected by it or something 
um, you know, what will help with the challenge, we have the Seven of Pentacles, six, Queen of Swords and Strength. So for some of you, you may have legal rights in this situation and you've invested a lot of your own time, time and money. So you've actually got some sort of legal standing with the Queen of Swords Strength and maybe in, in engaging in legal support might be necessary or helpful. That could be what helps with the challenge, but also just having your own boundaries, your own discernment, doing your research and, in, and understanding what's going on here with this tower and this new beginning. And um, I want to call this card up now. I feel like it's time. It says protection. And, and with this, it's from the same deck. They came out together. It's renewal and protection. So the Ace of Pentacles is there. So it makes me feel like, you know, and we've got the Ten of Pentacles, we've got a lot of Aces, we've got a lot of really good cards in this reading. So whatever this challenge is, I think it's to say you are protected and there are sweet results to await from all, from all of this, even if it feels like, I mean, it looks really super positive, but some of you might be experiencing it a little bit more uncertain and turbulent, especially given the Two of Swords in your reading there, where you're feeling like a pull between the head and the heart and not sure what to think or feel or choose. But Queen of Swords is, I think, also mentioned to talk to someone if you if you can, someone who's been through your ex this experience before, or somebody who's got some level of expertise or understanding. Um, overcome your lower nature to not um, strike out in spite or something like this. Like to be be mindful and have tact. Watch your investments. That sort of thing. Further guidance here. We have the. High Priestess, the Eight of Cups in the world. Really cool. First of all, the High Priestess felt strong enough to stand here on her own and it felt like just trust, just trust the unfolding in this situation. Eight of Cups in the world, leaving behind things that don't work out for you to have a whole new beginning, for you to grow in the way you're meant to grow. It says buy now. So maybe you're encouraged to let one thing go and buy another thing or um, like now is the time to take a step perhaps. Um, and just get a message here when someone else, someone else might be getting told no, and you, and in that time you get told yes or something like that. Like there's something where everyone else has stopped and you're not, or another person has stopped and you're not. I don't know what that, what that's about, but you might. You take it only if it feels like it's for you. But you're going to be absolutely glowing and feeling much better as this change takes place. I think group one and two had a fair bit of change as well. I do find it hard to do because I've done this reading a, fair, a couple of days before the release. So it's always a bit harder to, I feel anyway. Maybe it's not. It's all in your head, isn't it? So in the outcome, we have two major arcanas with the uh, Emperor and the Hermit. And then we have the Two of Wands. So this is similar energy to what we've just seen here uh, in the recent... Uh, in the extra guidance area where you're encouraged to grow to let go and grow basically the king of uh, sorry the king of the king of everything the emperor he is she potentially they whatever are the master of their own realm they're somebody who is very uh, accomplished this is somebody who can do it all they've got dinner cooking here appointments are on the phone they're, they're marking things down they got a coffee they're making a list this is somebody who can get it all done. And when I look at your cards here in this reading and the growth that you are slowly going through, the B spirit sweet results await, renewal protection, the queen of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, all these are really strong independent energies. And you're supported with that six of wands, that four of wands, you know, with the high priestess, with everything here, you are supported. Even if this king of pentacles energy, sorry, this could be a very um, monetarily focused person that can be a greedy person at times and that might be why the tower is there somebody might be you know trying to sh undermine you or shortchange you or something like this there could be some sort of stress around finances or financial commitments but you've got what it takes to navigate and to pull yourself away from it if necessary to protect yourself the hermit is here for you to take some time out to self-reflect but also to find the answers within and make your own choices you are you are the authority here is what it's saying take the time all the time you need to be able to gain the clarity from inside of yourself not externally to then make your choices on this crossroads you find yourself because the two of wands is here and you're ready to make a new path take a new path make a new choice the old path is uh, nothing left to offer you when you see the two of wands, especially at the end of a reading like that. It's just to say that this is the way to go. You to believe in yourself and step up into like your own boots. I'm hearing. I don't know what that means. Step into your own boots. I don't know because it's like people say, you know, take a walk in my shoes or whatever. 
but it's like these this is more about you stepping into your own shoes like who you're meant to be or something like this <laughs> the empress all right so we got the emperor and the empress here this could also be about a relationship definitely with children involved we've got the eight of swords on a split there we're not going to go into that we're not the king of swords legal situation potentially there so we had the sweet results of weight. We had celebrate your life and make life a celebration. And I just wanted to hold up all these beautiful greens. I mean, there's a lot more on the table, but aren't they just stunning? All these greens and golds and even the hermit as well. And the queen of pentacles. There's just so much beautiful green in your reading. I love it. I love it. So what am I up to? Renewal for frog spirit. We'll have a little squiz here. Be willing to release any preconceived notions of how life should unfold. This is a time to be adaptable, be willing to change. Abundance and good fortune will flow, follow. And that's it is already said here a few times in many different cards as well. In China, the frog is a powerful symbol of prosperity, healthy childbirth and good luck. Um, I did actually feel a pregnancy message here in this reading at the very beginning, maybe for someone. You may be having a baby soon. <clears throat> um, I always feel the frog personally is that message of swimming through challenges with ease. I feel a frog, frog spirit is a great guardian for that. When we had the protection, which is again an interesting thing, was the fact that the frog spirit was 20 and this is 21 from the same deck. So it just shows that this renewal is going, it's like you can trust this new beginning you can trust renewal in your life you can trust that there is actually protection around you and the situation so it says you are safe and surrounded by a protective shield you are not alone your life is guided and protected by higher forces within this you can soar to great heights and that's the world uh, sorry the high priestess down here as well this is the light that you are protected by and you're encouraged to just continue to release and soar to great heights oh wrong one soar to great heights with the world card that was next there which was really cool you had the card diligence from sacred destiny and go to the book i love the sacred destiny deck there are times in life to step forward and take risks but there are other times to be patient step carefully and slowly and know that benefits will gain in the future will be worth it be attentive meticulous and persistent use this time to plan for action steps in the future be diligent and consistent at each step as you move forward. By doing so, you will harvest remarkable results in the years ahead. This, does not, this is not a time for instant gratification. Your diligence will pay off in the future tenfold. This is the time for deliberate organization, clean house, clear clutter from your life. Be thoughtful about how you spend your time and be discerning when choosing with whom you spend it. Clear out relationships that do not support you. And we had nature's gift affirmation and that went with the green. Did I mention earlier? Yeah. I am fully present in the natural world and the plants and trees in my environment. I enjoy the energy of earth. It'd be wonderful. And this is the sacred forest oracle. So maybe some time in the forest if you have one nearby. It'd be really nice. Frolicking. Um, we have the uh, tea leaf oracles to finish up your reading with bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. We have flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. We have victory in some endeavor. And they seem to come out together, that clump. So you may be, um, like these cards even suggest with the Queen of Swords here, you've got some anger with that tower here, but you've also got strength and you've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got a lot of aces, you've got a lot of renewal, you've got a lot of protection. You are need, like the other card said as well about being meticulous and careful and diligent, you will navigate any of that. You have wishbone, a wish is granted and door opportunities are waiting for you that they are they really really are group three and that is what i have for you in this reading so merry christmas to you if you've tuned in on the actual day of otherwise looking into new years next week's reading is going to be a look into 2024 so i might do a different spread for that one and just sort of do a bit of a look at the whole year um and looking forward to that I think that's all I've got to say. Yeah, private readings might not be any spots left until January, but I will open up January spots uh, very shortly. There might be a spot or two left, I don't know. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'll open up in January and let everyone know what is going on there. 
And that being said, I look forward to speaking to you next time, Group 3. Take it easy.